Angelfish are one of the most common fish found in the aquarium hobby today and in this video we will take a look at the species and everything you need to know so they can thrive in your aquarium. Angelfish are native to South American countries such as Brazil, Guyana, Colombia and Peru. They are commonly found in slow moving streams, floodplains and swamps in warm acidic water. They are the most commonly kept freshwater aquarium fish as well as the most commonly kept cichlid. They have a unique shape, laterally compressed, with a rounded body and elongated triangular dorsal and anal fins. They have been bred in captivity since the late 1920s. In the correct conditions, they live up to an age of 12 to 15 years, as long as the tank mates are compatible. Angelfish are generally a peaceful fish, but they are from the cichlid family and can be aggressive towards one another, especially when pairing off and spawning. When they are not breeding though, they tend to be quite a peaceful fish. Although, they may see anything that fits in their mouth, like the smaller tetras and rosboras, and shrimp as a food source, so it would be advised to avoid the smaller types of fish as a tank mate. So what could be seen as a tank mate for the angelfish? Well, larger tetras and larger rosboras, gouramis, peaceful barbs, Rainbow fish, Corridoras, and other small sized catfish like Plecos. Angelfish should be kept in a warm aquarium with temperatures ranging from 78 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. The water should be soft and acidic with a pH of around 6.5. Angelfish grow quite large with a 3 inch body length and 6 inch high so a larger, deeper aquarium no smaller than 180 litre is suitable. A tank that size could home up to 6 angelfish but as they grow older and larger and pairs form it would be advised then to remove the other angels to another tank or forward them on to a shop or another aquarist. Angelfish are relatively easy to breed, although a result of generations of inbreeding, most breeds have almost lost their rearing instincts, so sadly the parents tend to eat their young. It can be difficult to sex angelfish accurately until it is nearly ready for them to breed. Males have an almost circular body that is interrupted by a hump on their head when they have matured. They have forked ventral fins and have a pointed thin breeding tube. Females are more angular on their ventral and dorsal portions of their body and they have a more rounded head. Angelfish are monogamous which means they pair up for life. Each individual will protect each other from threats and potential suitors. Upon the death or removal of one of the pairs Breeders have experienced a total refusal of the remaining mate to pair up and breed with any other angelfish. During breeding, or the spawning cycle, angelfish become highly territorial. They reach a sexual maturity between the age of 6 to 12 months. If the eggs are removed, the pair is capable to respawn every 7 to 10 days, up to the age of around 3 years where spawning frequency decreases and eventually ceases. When they are ready to spawn, they'll choose an appropriate medium like a piece of wood or a piece of slate or a large flat leaf. They then spend up to two days cleaning off any detritus and algae from the surface. The female will lean a line of eggs on the chosen medium and the male will follow over them to fertilise them. This process will continue and they can lay and fertilise up to 1200 eggs depending on the size and health of the female. 
Both parents will take care of the eggs, maintaining a high rate of water circulation around the eggs by swimming very close to them and fanning them with their pectoral fins. After a few days, the eggs will hatch and stay attached to the chosen medium, where the fry will eat the remnants of the yolk sacs. The fry become free swimming at around seven days. At this stage, they can be fed small foods such as baby brine shrimp. Over the next six months, angelfish fry will grow at their fastest rate from around half an inch to four inches. I believe that is everything I know about angelfish. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel for further content. See you soon!